What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8. Now, namely iOS 8.1.1, which Apple did release and it did patch the previous Pangu jailbreak. So just recently, Taiji was updated to version number 1.0.2 and it includes a lot of fixes. So any of you guys that weren't able to jailbreak with the older version, this video should work for you. And you know, anyone that's new to jailbreaking, I'm going to explain the entire process to you guys so you are confident in what you're doing. So I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 6. 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, 5, 4S, all iPads, including the new iPad Air 2 and Mini 3, as well as the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, this does support the newest iOS 8.1.1 firmware. As you guys can see, I am running it myself, and I will be showing you how to install Cydia and enjoy a free device on the latest iOS 8.1.1 firmware. Now, here are the recent developments. So, Taiji was just updated to 1.0.2, and this update includes a lot of fixes, and it removes a third-party application and source it would install in Cydia. So, it is a completely side-effect-free jailbreak. You will not get anything that you didn't want installed on your device, and Muscle Nerd just recently confirmed that this jailbreak is 100% safe. I mean, it doesn't install any sort of malware on any spying things on your device. So it's a good jailbreak and you can go ahead and move forward if you were waiting on a security update. Now, unfortunately, this latest update does not support Mac yet. However, you can run this jailbreak through a virtual machine on a Mac if you guys do have that installed. If you don't, I'll show you guys how in the description in my article. Otherwise, this is just for Windows. So this is only Windows support and I'll have all my links that you will need to download down below in the description as well as a full guide and a troubleshooting link. So just click on this link right here and it'll take you to my guide which explains everything in further detail and all the download links are there as well. So if you guys aren't on iOS 8.1.1 yet and you're on 8.1, there's really no reason not to update. I don't know why you guys haven't already because there is a jailbreak that is supported on 8.1.1 Point one now. However, I want to tell you guys, do not update to iOS 8.1.1 from in here. If you updated from here, you're going to need to restore your device most likely because it does interfere with the jailbreak. So if you guys haven't updated to 8.1.1 yet, do so from iTunes. Connect your device to your computer and update through iTunes. It won't erase any of your data. It'll just update you to the latest firmware and why not? I mean, 8.1.1 has a lot of security fixes, a lot of latest changes, and it does supposedly help with speed as I did show you guys in my other video, especially on older devices such as the 4S and the iPad 2. So I really don't see why you wouldn't update to iOS 8.1.1. There's really no reason not to update. Also, there's a few things you guys will need to do inside of the settings before attempting this jailbreak. First off, make sure you have no touch ID or passcode enabled. If you have any of those, remove them because it will interfere with the jailbreak. And that goes for touch ID and passcode, same thing. Also, scroll to iCloud and sign out of any iCloud account. So if you are signed in, remove Find My iPhone and sign out of iCloud because this also does interfere. However, it's not as big of a deal as the Touch ID is. And lastly, just put your device in airplane mode. This will help with the jailbreak, you know, just to get things running smoothly. And if your device is near overflowing with data, you might want to clean some of it up because that could interfere with the jailbreak as well. You know, I just want to make sure that you guys have a fluid jailbreak experience. I also do want you guys to go ahead and back up your device in iTunes. So if you haven't already, you know, back it up in iTunes to a low Local backup. iCloud also works, however, I found that a local backup is 100% safe. I just want to make sure you guys have all of your stuff backed up because you never know. You know, things happen, a cord could come unplugged, you could lose all of your data and not have any of it backed up. And this is generally a very safe jailbreak. I haven't experienced any sort of issues. I mean, I had a fluid experience with several devices and Generally, the consensus online is that this jailbreak is very safe and very trustworthy. And I also want to mention that if you've already jailbroken using Taiji on 8.1.1, there's no reason to do this again with the updated version. It just makes the experience easier for people that weren't able to jailbreak the first time or are jailbreaking for the first time at all. And lastly, before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys this is a jailbroken iOS 8 device, 8.1.1, my iPhone 6. And a lot of people ask me why jailbreak? I mean, iOS 8 already adds a lot of new features such as widgets and third-party keyboard. You know, some people think the jailbreaking is becoming obsolete. Well, that's not true. There's so much you can do. I mean, let me just show you guys a couple of things installed on my jailbroken device. First off, this is Lock Glyph. It's a Touch ID passcode tweak that pretty much adds a nice interface to your lock screen. It's very clean and you know, I love it. As you guys can see on my lock screen, I do have Watchboard enabled, which is the new Apple Watch UI installed on an iPhone. And man, this is wicked cool. I mean, any jailbroken device can do this and 
it's just cool. I mean, no non-jailbroken device will ever be able to do this, but you know, how cool is that guys? Changing up your springboard to something so cool. And as you guys can see in the background, I do have weatherboard enabled and it actually take the weather from where you're located and put it in the background of your device. I totally recommend jailbreaking. There's almost no downsides. Anyways, guys, so I just wanted to show you what jailbreaking is all about. You know, this is just a little bit. There is so much out there and on my channel, I have a lot of things about jailbreaking. Anyways, let's go ahead and run this jailbreak. So make sure your device is connected to your computer. And like I said, update to iOS 8.1.1. If you're on an older firmware, there's no reason not to update because 8.1 isn't even being signed anymore. You can't downgrade to it anymore. I mean, might as well update to the latest firmware. So plug your device in and let's head over to my desktop. All right, so you guys will need to download just one thing to your desktop and that's Taiji version number 1.0.2. I have the updated version down below in the description or click here for the link. It'll take you to my website and you'll download everything you need there and of course the full guide. So it'll come in a zip format. You know, you will need to unzip it and then you'll get Taiji version number 1.0.2. Right click and run as administrator and select yes. Now 1.0.2 does a much better job of locating your device. I had problems with the first version where it didn't see my device until I unplugged it and replugged it. And anyways, once you're in here, once it does locate your device, uncheck this right here. So this is gonna install a third party app store, not something you really want on your device, especially if it's all in Chinese. And it will install the latest version of City as well. So we're all good to go. Go ahead and click on that guy and the jailbreak process will begin. So this does take about five minutes, not long at all. It's super quick jailbreak and I'm surprised. It was so much smoother than Pangu was. Taiji, out of nowhere, they just released this 8.1.1 jailbreak and thank goodness it doesn't actually burn any exploits. So we will most likely have an iOS 8.2 jailbreak. I mean, that's great. Whenever that is released, we'll have the latest firmware that supports Apple Watch and a jailbreak as well. Anyways, you'll see the smiley. That means you guys are done with the jailbreak, so it's gonna reboot right now. And in a moment here, you guys will be jailbroken on iOS 8.1.1. So a lot of people ask me, is jailbreaking safe? And the truth is yes. At this point in time, it's been optimized so well for all of the latest devices. There's really no reason not to jailbreak. It's just safe, it's fast. It doesn't slow down your device unless it's fully loaded and you know it has a ton of stuff on it. Anyways, if iTunes pops up, just X out of that guy. And uh, in a moment here, there we go. My device has rebooted and we should see Cydia on our springboard, cool. So go ahead and open that guy up. And uh, if you're in airplane mode like I was, go ahead and take it out of airplane mode. And uh, anyways, in a moment here, your device will reboot and you'll have Cydia on your device. Now, another thing people ask me is, does jailbreaking void warranty? And unfortunately, yes, it does. However, it's not permanent. You know, if you break your device, you can still restore it, even if the screen isn't working through iTunes and then go into Apple Store and have it replaced, you know, there's no problem there. It's only if your device is jailbroken, you take it in for service, then they will refuse service. Apple can't tell if you jailbroke your device after restoring it. So just wanna clear that up and no jailbreaking isn't illegal. It's been legal the entire time. There was never a point where jailbreaking was illegal. I mean, DMCA Act protects us against that. So that's great. Anyways, in a moment here, guys, I'm gonna have a working Cydia and I'll be right back. All right, so my device has restarted and let's go ahead and open up Cydia. And if you guys have any updates, you know, the first thing you guys wanna do is actually update inside of the changes tab. So go into here and select refresh and upgrade. So this will make sure your Cydia and everything that makes it tick is updated to the latest version, but otherwise you guys are jailbroken on iOS 8.1.1 and that's great. I always love it when I'm jailbroken on the latest firmware. That way I'm getting all of the latest changes and improvements while maintaining a jailbreak. So guys, of course, when iOS 8.1.2 or 8.2 does come out, make sure not to jailbreak and click on one of these videos to enjoy many of the tweaks, the things you can do after jailbreaking. There's so much, it's hard to mention it all in one video. So check out my other videos. It'll show you what you can do after jailbreaking. And if you guys are having any kind of issues, it's really easy to resolve. First off, read the article down below. I do have a full troubleshooting guide there. And second, there's a couple things you can do. First off, restart your device and restart your computer. Just a simple little thing can improve many errors for many people. First off, right click on the Taiji icon and make sure you do have administrator privileges. This will not work if you're not an administrator. Also just switch computers. Sometimes just switching between computers can make the difference between being able to jailbreak and not being able to. And guys, that's pretty much it. I do hope you enjoy your jailbreak on iOS 8.1.1. It's just a simple process. And I'm so glad you guys could jailbreak your device. You know, click on one of these videos, enjoy my other videos that I do have for jailbreakers. Have a great day guys. Peace.